good morning happy friday i wanted to hop on here to welcome you to my channel for those of you that don't know my name is kat i wanted to create a youtube channel because i get a lot of questions via other social media platforms so i thought that it would be really really beneficial for me to create a youtube channel centered around routine and productivity welcome to my channel basically today i just wanted to walk you through my daily routine and what it looks like i just got ready it's around 10 30 now typically i'm ready a little bit earlier but this morning was a little bit of a slow start because i was up later last night so right now i'm just going to sit you guys down and talk to you about basically my normal morning routine up until this Point. So basically, I wake up around 7 to 7.30, depending on the hour I was up the night before. I really prioritize getting eight hours of sleep a night because for a while, probably for like five years, I lived my life just getting anywhere from three to six hours of sleep a night. I've done the research and I know the importance of sleep, so I really prioritize getting that eight hours in. Today, since I went to bed a lot later, I slept in, which is pretty rare, but it happens. So I got up at eight, then my boyfriend Dom is in grad school right now, so I get his shit done for the day. I make his lunch for him set up his shake we start our days every day with a meal replacement shake that i've been consuming for eight years now so i put two scoops of shake six ice cubes into a blender then i wait and i'll i'll put the water in when he's actually ready for the shake then i turn on the coffee then typically i unload the dishwasher then i read a book for 30 minutes it's something that i've done for months and months and months now ever since i actually graduated undergrad i prioritized reading because i started writing a book and i had to read a lot of literature in order to write the book then i typically get more stuff done around the house that just really needs to be done i make the bed every day after i read then this morning there was laundry to fold so i folded the laundry put all of that away then i started getting ready for the day that takes me around a half hour to shower get dressed put makeup on the skincare then i start my work typically i start my work at around 9 30 but today, since we are a little delayed, we're starting it later. Let me know if you guys want morning routine video, anything like that, because I would so be willing to put all of that up as well. I wanna help you guys and make your life as easy and as simple as possible. Through a lot of trial and error and figuring out what works and what doesn't, I've found what works best, which I know other people can take and translate into their lives. So now we're going to go get started on work for the day. The first big section of my day, I work for my international health and wellness company. I'm a manager for them. So I do all of my work needed for that. Then I work for one of Forbes top business podcasters. So I do the work that I need to do for her. After that, typically it's around lunchtime at that point, I intermittent fast. So I open up my day with a shake after that. I write and I do all of my other little catch-all work too so if I have to respond to messages if I have to do a little bit of more work for Angie because I didn't do it all in the morning I get it done then and then I typically like going on a walk in the afternoon just to kind of break it up and get some fresh air because I do work from home and like being in the air conditioning all day is great but then it's also like i need fresh air dom comes home we go to the gym and then we come home dinner whatever else needs to happen at night tonight we have an event for his school so we're going to go to that so really quick before we start our work for the day i really love using this notepad i like using it as a done list of all of the tasks i've completed along the way i used to be a person that felt like i wasn't getting a ton done in the day so i like writing all of the things that i've completed throughout the day so that at the end of the day i can look back and see all that i've done um, and it really 
one gives you a positive outlook and two shows you how proactive and productive you were one day and it holds you accountable so i like making a done list the one thing i don't like is how short the lines are on this so i might just honestly create my own and print them out and do a downloadable so let me know if you guys would use something like this then i also use this every day this is our 90 day action plan from my company so today's friday so basically every single day i connect with people post on socials mingle so i have calls or conversations to set up then I do a shout out for the team and then I sign up an individual. So those are the goals every single day. So I have those and then I have my other to-do list, which is like all the other catch-all things that I need to do for my business daily. touch on something when it comes to my work I use my phone a ton my phone is typically dead at around noon every day I have a love-hate relationship with my phone so I use my phone a lot for business but I don't always enjoy having my phone near me while I work it's actually been shown that having your phone in the same vicinity as you if you are doing work that is not on your phone heavily decreases productivity when it comes to working i work in a very monochronic form so there are two forms of work and they are polychronic and monochronic monochronic means that you can focus on one activity at a time and really pound that out the negative of having monochronic tendencies is that you find it more difficult to switch from task to task if something happens that is outside of their routine and their schedule it's shit hitting the fan for them very severe monochronic individuals do not enjoy leaving one section of their work to go to the, another one until it is complete polychronic people have easier time switching from task to task so basically they go from one to another to another they work in sprints they like getting stuff done in 15 minutes okay now the next thing for 15 minutes okay now the next thing for 15 minutes okay now back to this thing they find it very easy to switch from task to task the negative thing about that is that it can really decrease their ability to focus they're able to get more distracted more easily and increase their chances of implementing multitasking which actually decreases productivity i'm a more monochronic worker the thing that makes me a more of a polychronic worker is my phone i do not like having my phone on me when i do not need to i keep my phone on do not disturb all day it really really helps me overall because i don't feel a need to immediately pick it up and respond to whatever notification comes across my phone with that being said it's more towards the afternoon that I try to keep my phone away from me. I'll just leave it in the charger because my phone is typically dead by noon every day because I use my phone so much for work in the morning. And I try not to use it in the afternoon because that's when I write my book and all of that stuff. So my phone's not as needed. Alrighty, so I just finished a lot of my work for my health and wellness company. I journaled. I created all of the stuff for the YouTube channel. When I say, oh, I did all my stuff for my business, there's a lot of sub stuff within that. So let me know if you guys want me to do a video on basically how I break it down my productivity for business and how it can be translated to other businesses. Now I'm going to start work for Angie after I do an hour of that. I am going to go take out the trash and then go for a walk. Right now I'm in a hoodie because 
I just had lunch breakfast technically since I intermittent fast I open my fasting window at noon each day and I close my window at 8 or 9 so I just had a shake and I just had some of my other supplements let me know if you guys want a routine on that as well morning food routine or a full day of eating food routine or a supplements routine specifically so now I'm going to get some work done for Angie so it is 2 45 I just wrapped up work for the day. Dom and I are going to go to the gym at 4 today until 5.30 or 6. He has a event for school from 6 until like 8. So we're going to pop in for that. Basically, I have to get ready at 4, which means that I have the next hour and 15 minutes to do as much as I can. I am going to start writing. I am writing a book. I did a lot of my undergraduate research on type A behavior pattern. Currently, I am about 100 pages, 115 pages into the book. My goal for today is to finish one of the subsections. So I am going to work on that right now, power through that. It's around like 80% finished, so I'm hoping to just wrap up that last 20% in the next hour and 15 minutes that I have. Let me know if you want me to walk you through a routine for my writing. I have a lot of people that ask me a lot of questions about academic writing and just writing in general, whether it be books, theses, or dissertations, because I have an outline that I use that's very, very beneficial. So let me know if you guys would want me to share that, if you guys are writers, or if you are in university getting ready to wrap up your career writing a large paper for a policy and research class, a dissertation, or your final thesis. Hey, it is the next day, it is Saturday. Last night we went to the gym, I lifted legs, that's where we kind of left off with you guys. So we went for two hours, we got back home, got ready, went out to, it's called a sack event, it's like a a school graduate school social event for Dom's University. So we went to that from 6.40 until like 10.30 at night. And then we just came home, relaxed, just honestly sat on the couch and talked for two hours and then went to bed. It was not a super, um, you know, productive or event-filled night after that. I think it's really, really important to have fun as well in life because if you're not then what the fuck are you doing <laughs> work hard play harder is something that Dom always says and you know you can work hard but what's the point if you're not enjoying it or enjoying your time or reaping the benefits we went to that last night when it comes to my workout routine let me know if you guys want me to walk you through my workout routine how I do my splits lifting plans, all of that stuff. For those of you that don't know, I used to be a personal trainer. I still technically am certified. So yeah, I was almost about to not put this up and just restart Monday and record again and walk you through my whole day, but felt like there were talking points in this video that were very valuable. And one of the things about being productive and getting stuff done is just knowing that done is better than perfect every single time. It's when you live your life as a perfectionist, which I still struggle with every once in a while, but it's when you live your life in a perfectionist state of mind that you become less productive and get less done and your routine becomes a shit show because time just leaks over and things take more time than anticipated because you're just not satisfied with even the quality you're giving. So done is better than perfect. I am going to edit all of this and smack it up on YouTube for all of you. I'm trying to think and go through what we've discussed over the past 24 hours. Let me know if you guys want a video on workout routines and splits. Let me know if you guys want information on how to manage your time and a more in-depth work routine. I know we talked about that as well. We also talked about morning routine, evening routine, 
all of that stuff too. So let me know whatever you guys are interested in because I am here to serve you and I am here to make your lives simpler. So, you know, I haven't been looking to, into the viewfinder this whole time, but it's fine because here's the thing. It's the quality <laughs> of the words that matter. So yeah, anyway, goodbye. I will talk to you guys later on this coming week. I'll see you in the next video.